Tense day of testimony in the trial of Alec Murdoch. We heard the defense ask tough questions to investigators about the evidence they seized after Murdoch's wife and son were found murdered. But today's testimony focused on interviews and searches done at the Murdoch property in the days immediately after Paul and Maggie were shot to death. Now we heard from six different witnesses, each of them providing more information about the focus of law enforcement's investigation. Now cell phone evidence is expected to be a key part of the state's argument. And today we heard more about what investigators found. Fox Carolina's Grace Runkle has more from Walterboro. SLED Special Agent Britt Dove took the stand today. He specializes in digital forensics, so he walked the jury through different data that was recorded on Maggie's phone. The level of detail the phone stores is shocking. Of course, it records the last time that Maggie answered her phone around 750, but it also recorded activity involving how the phone was handled. And Dove found a lot happened after Maggie answered her phone for the last time. All right, so the camera's on for one second. In your opinion, what does that tell you is happening on this phone? It appears the phone's being moved and the camera's activating in the background to see if it would recognize somebody's face that would unlock it. So the phone is attempting to face unlock, correct? Yes, sir. That's what it appears. But you just testified that after 84931, uh, the phone never unlocked, correct? Correct. The state went line by line through Dove's various reports. Together, they revealed Maggie's phone was picked up several times and even moved after it locked for the last time at 849. Dove says he can't say who picked up the phone, only that it recognized a change in orientation. He also says the camera didn't record any data when it came on for one second while it was trying to unlock. He did say he would have expected it to unlock if it had detected Maggie's face. Dub will be back on the stand when court resumes tomorrow, so make sure you stick with us for the latest updates. In Walterboro, Grace Runkle, Fox Carolina News. And of course, we'll have continuing coverage of the trial for you right here on Fox Carolina. You can also watch that live and stream it every day on your Roku, your Apple, or your Fire TV through the Fox Carolina News app.